ain't gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed in this episode. It was way too much shit going on that just didn't make sense. And I already know Dragon Ball used to always have their bullshit going on, but today was just unacceptable. And I ain't even gonna get into the details and discussion of this shit, because if I do, this whole video gonna be like a whole hour or some shit. But anyway, let's get this shit the fuck poppin'. So the episode kick off with Jiren still charging up, and for real, for real, I don't even know why he's doing that. He's been beating everybody the fuck up this whole time already, so I don't even see the reason for him needing to charge up. At this point, he's just showing off. Bull don't charge up so much, he done turned into the Human Torch with a side of Phoenix Force. Oh, bro, who gave Jiren my mixtape? Chill, dog. your mixtape trash. That's mine he playing. Fuck out of here, dog. But tough ass G's don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Aw oh, man, fuck you and that power up. You done fucked up. All we gotta do is beat your ass and we win? This is a rap for you, dog. Bro, you couldn't beat me with full strength. Now you beat the fuck up. You really not doing shit now. G just got pissed and charged in. What bitch? Aw oh, man, now we gotta go help this nigga. They try to jump Jaren, but Jaren always on 50s. Chill, dickhead. Blah! But they ain't done yet. Fuck that. Three minutes left on the clock. They about to run this shit down. Jiren getting real sick and tired of getting jumped. Called them Nats, and Nats annoying as fuck. Straight popped on Jeets. Elbowed the shit out of 17 and kicked Goku dead in his mitt. When in doubt, beam shit up. 17 and Vegeta managed to catch Jiren with a cross beam, but that shit didn't work at all. He almost took Vegeta head off with that one. Vegeta better be glad 17 came to the rescue, because the way Vegeta is right now... He probably would have died from that kick. And then got shot in the face point blank. They're like, damn. Then Vegeta started talking crazy and rushed him. He started throwing them good hands, but then Jiren peeped Goku coming up from behind. Bro, what you looking at, dog? I'm right here. Hey, yo, bro, don't question me, dog. Fuck out my face. But Jesus wasn't done. He was trying to hit Jiren with them punches he threw at Topo, but Jiren wasn't having that shit. All right, that's a good punch right there. I see why you beat Topo, bitch ass. But I ain't Topo. I'm fucking Jiren, the motherfucking great. Hold this punch, dickhead. Bro! Fucked his stomach all up, punched him back in the base. Damn. Goku tried to catch Jiren slipping with a Kamehameha. But then this nigga Jiren turned into Kim from Street Fighter and hit him with the Zoo, you can! Straight up disintegrated that shit. Bro, did he just uppercut that shit? Look at Topo's sloppy ass. Fat as hell, mad as hell. Jiren started walking up on Goku, brolic as hell, about to do damage. But then 17 pulled up with that special delivery. Put that shit to his back. God diggity damn. Then the dust settled and it turned out 17 nut ass blew itself up. God damn. Probably would have been a good idea if I put a shield on when I did that. My dumb ass. But the plan didn't completely fail. He did do some damage and was the first to do it too. But he fucked up because he ripped Jaren's shirt. Bro, you gonna rip my shirt, dog? You dead ass right now? Man, fuck that shirt. He started beaming Jaren's ass up, treating him like Topo. And it looked like it was working for a little bit too, but 17 decided, oh hell nah, I gotta get up out of here. Oh, Alright, good look, 17. Now I know how we gotta beat his ass. Hey, yo, Jeez, you think you could do that sneak attack you did on me back in the day? <laughs> Now he out here just yelling the plan out loud, like Jaren's ears ain't big as shit. This nigga know I can hear him, right? Bro, y'all done talking yet? Y'all talk too damn much. Seventeen trying to be smooth as hell with that slick ass shot, but it got eyeballed the fuck out of here. Get him! They went right back to jumping his ass, caught him with that combo. Now they back to jumping Jaren, throwing them good hands. And while they fighting, Seventeen just waiting for the perfect moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Kablooey! And it caught Jaren. But he not falling for the same shit twice. Get this weak shit out of here. Pulled right up on 17. But he did some cool ass shield layer shit. But Jaren broke through all that. Straight up hit 17 with a two piece no biscuit. But he tried to beam him up real quick. But that shit ain't working. Jaren not even phased by the key blast. This man really be fighting casually as fuck with no worries. Just peep how he tried to kick Goku dead in his mitt. Then they all tried to hit him with a three way. But <sighs> nothing stops Jiren bruh. He probably didn't even need the shield. Just look at him. Everything this man has done just looks so effortless. As a matter of fact, did this nigga even blink at all in the tournament? Then he just blew everything the fuck up and just erased everybody. Jeet's super tired and fucked up. Goku definitely tired and fucked up. 17, he not tired, but he fucked up a little bit. Jiren done told they ass, time's up, y'all got to go. But then Frieza came out of nowhere with the Falcon kick, damn. Kick Jiren through all these rocks. Proceeded to throw them fists of fury at Jiren. Nah, fuck out of here. I'm not finna keep beating my ass. Man, shut your dumb ass up. Yes, I am. Freezer sick as hell. Pride in the gutter. Then Freezer turned into Frost like, man, fuck these punk ass rules. I'm sick of this shit. I'm killing your ass. I don't care if I get erased. I'm already dead. Straight up transform. He ain't even want the cutscene. Straight up charge at Jiren. Full force. But Jiren just hit him with the mean mug. Straight froze his ass and aired Freezer the fuck out and then hit him with the mean haymaker. Knocked the gold dust off his ass. Damn. But pause for the cause real quick. 
Freeze a dead ass been taking L's and getting his ass beat since they defeated Anal Laser. How you get your ass beat by all three of the last three people? Despo was beating his ass to the point that Gohan had to come in and help. Shit, we ain't even gonna talk about Tobo cause that shit was just ugly. And now Jiren. I don't even know why he even tried to fight Jiren. Like he really got his ass beat by three different levels of difficulty. But anyway, let's get back to the recap. Jiren's down like Goku did in that one movie and 17 shot him in his back, but this time it ain't rip his shirt. I know he about sick and tired of 17. The fuck was that? Yeah, what the fuck can you do by yourself? Eh, probably nothing. But we still fitting to win though. And here come Belmont interrupting the fight just to ask questions. Let's say you win. The fuck you plan on wishing for? Nigga, I'm wishing for a boat. You dead ass, bro? A fucking boat? You kidding me? Yeah, bro, I'm dead ass. A boat. What you plan on wishing for, Jerry and the Gay? I mean, Gray? Fucking protein shakes? How the fuck you know my wish? Oh, man, this nigga about to have a flashback, dog. Bro, is that what we look like when we start monologuing and shit? And sure enough, we got a flashback. So apparently back when Sasuke, I mean, Jiren was a young ant looking ass nigga, his village and parents got murked by some mysterious monster. Judging by the look of this thing, I'm just gonna assume that Jiren's parents got killed by Kirogiri from My Hero. Then Jiren got saved by some dude who eventually became his teacher and was training Jiren. And then one day, Haunter decided to come back. But this time, Jiren ready for war. And the monster killed his peoples again, including a nigga that saved his life. Then Jiren tried to rise up and fight the shit again. But niggas was like, oh, hell nah. I like living. You on your own, dog." And that was Jiren's backstory. They gave him the classic Naruto childhood. Belmont still talking, saying Jiren didn't trust people no more. All he wanted to do is beat people the fuck up, apparently. Bro, y'all niggas done talking yet? God damn. Bro, I'm never monologuing again. Is that your wish, dog? Oh man. And by the way, your backstory was corny as hell. So you mean to tell me you just a strong ass sad motherfucker? Oh man, you really a big bitch. Hey, yo, Belmont, shut the fuck up, dog. You already telling my business got me out here looking sweet out here, dog. Seventeen told Jaren like, bro, you need to just let that hurt go. Get yourself some regular Dragon Balls. But Jaren ain't like that. His feelings already hurt. Straight up grip Seventeen face. Got him. Hey, yo, get off my face, dog. Man, shut your ass up. Punch them hard as hell into a rock. But Seventeen ain't done. How you that strong that a nigga's shirt start ripping up? Toss his ass like loose change. <laughs> so what if my story ass? Y'all still can't beat me. As a matter of fact, I ain't gotta take shit from you weak ass bitches. Then Jiren shot the craziest fireball ever. That shit grew big as fuck. God damn. And like a real nigga, 17 rushed in ready to save the day. <clears throat> Even though I don't think his shield should have withstand Jiren's blast. But we not gonna talk about that. Hey yo, y'all, listen, man. I don't think I'm getting that boat. So I'm gonna just save y'all, all right? Except you, Freezer, cause fuck you. And that's what he did. He blocked the blast, shielded Goku and Vegeta, and sacrificed himself. I'm a little disappointed in Jaren, cause I thought he was just gonna charge up another one and finish the job, but apparently not. 17 shields is real clutch, cause they really got their lives saved. I don't know where they're falling, cause I could have sworn the explosion blew everything up. And how the fuck are they just standing up now? Now, I'm thinking Jaren killed 17, but everybody keep yelling, Oh, he sacrificed himself. Oh, he self-destructed. Shut the fuck up. Don't yell that shit out loud. Now Grand Prix's gonna hear y'all. And sure enough, Grand Prix's heard him. You got damn right I heard him. Since your boy blew himself up, guess what? Jaren ain't going no goddamn way. But pause for the calls real quick. Cause I know everybody probably went through the same confusion that I did. How the fuck 17 blow himself up? Didn't they remove the bomb and shit? Yeah, they removed the bomb, but you know what I'm thinking? He probably pulled some Vegeta shit and did the same thing Jeets did and blew himself the fuck up. Remember, he got unlimited energy, so his explosion could have been big as fuck. For real, for real. And his body couldn't withstand it, so he probably just really blew himself the fuck up, Vegeta style. Even after getting blown up two times in a row, Jeet's still coming crazy. But it's only three more minutes left in this tournament. I just hope these last few episodes ain't as terrible as this one. Oh, you can... Jiren was killed by his father. My name is Jeff.